as I know. Um, 78 athletes on the team, you're one of them. You must be over the moon. Oh, man, I'm, I'm grateful right now, man. I'm really happy to be a part of the team. Obviously, I've been working really hard and I'm really happy that they've selected me and happy, ready to go now. And yeah, just really ready to go right now. It's like two phases to the season, isn't it? Like you've got the phase where you've got to do all the work, get ready, make the team kind of takes you on a journey and then you got to kind of get ready all over again now because this, this is the business end. Exactly. Right now, this is like crunch time now and my coach is here and um, like he knows exactly what to do and I'm just trusting him to guide me right through the World Championships and deliver myself on the day. When you made the switch or when you became a fully fledged GB athlete, um, did you have this in your mind? Did you have these World Championships as the ones that you was going to kind of really identify, uh, really you know, make people understand who you were, what you're about, that sort of thing? Well, when I made the switch, obviously, I, I, I couldn't wait to put the vest on. And I, I'm really grateful now that I have the opportunity to be running the London Olympic Stadium. And I know exactly what the crowd is going to be like come on the day. So I'm really happy to be a part of it. And um, yeah, World Championships, Olympics, all of it. I'm really happy to be representing Great Britain at the moment. Come on, what are you going to do? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Um, expectations, I, I, I don't really put expectations on myself. Uh, for me, I just have to go right there to World Champs now, get through the rounds, execute every time that I go there and make it to the finals. Once I'm into the finals, once I execute my race according to plan, stay relaxed right to the finish line, then hey, I'm looking forward to getting the medal, man. You know, um, World Championships 200 metres, there's a history there. Let's think about some of the world champs that have gone back, gone past. Who would you say has uh, most impressed you over the years? Is there a, a standout race that you're like, wow, I remember that 200 metres, I'd have loved to have been a part of that? Um, hmm, I, I, I'm, I'm a way a bit biased. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say 2015 for me, world championships. I mean, I was quite young when I went to the finals and um, I was stuck in between Gatlin and Bolt. So some people say I was sandwiched between the big men's so um, for me, I, I use that as a learning experience. This year, I look back on that video a lot and I see it as a motivation going forward. And um, I'm really grateful now that I've watched that video. I've been amongst it, um, those world-class athletes and seen that I am capable of being in the top with those guys. So obviously making it fifth place in the world champs um, it's a motivation going forward from here on and I'm um, hoping to better that position this year. What's the difference between Zarnell Hughes then and Zarnell Hughes now? Zarnell Hughes then and Zarnell Hughes now, um, I've definitely got much more, more mentally stronger. I, I mean, I, I take things in phases this time. I, for me, back then, I used to like to rush things. I, I was like, I wasn't impatient. I was always impatient. I always wanted to run fast, run fast, run fast. But for me, my coach and I have been talking a lot lately. He says, I know everything takes time. You're still young. You're still young. Behave yourself, you know? So for me, I just try to relax, enjoy the sport more, and just go out there each time and execute my races and start worrying about times. You competed at the anniversary games. Um, that was like a dress rehearsal. Talk to me about the crowd and how you expect them to be come the World Championships. Hey, the crowd was fantastic at the anniversary games. Always amazing to run in front of them. And I can only imagine what the crowd is going to be like come World Championships. Especially since Usain Bolt is going out now. Everybody wants to be a part of that. You know what I mean? So it's just something that I'm looking forward to. I know they're going to be 100% behind of us. And I'm really grateful now to put on that vest and go out there and compete to the very best of my ability. Could this be? the best of your ability could this be the race that really stretches you and helps you to produce a performance that you you know that's going to probably keep you in good stead moving forward well as i mentioned earlier expectations not putting any expectations on myself. you see what i'm trying to do here isn't it? i realize what you're trying to do <laughs> but i'm just going out there trying to have fun at the same time enjoy it enjoy the moment and just hope that everything goes according to plan according to how i wanted to go as well um fingers crossed and just go there, execute Zarnell and give it my best and represent Great Britain, Great Britain to the full potential. No, um, no niggles in 100% one piece, you all good? Everything's good, man. Everything's and good luck. I'm really grateful for that. Good luck, good luck. Right, thank you very much, yeah? Yeah, look after, all right? All right.